Welcome back everyone. If you are interested in knowing how you can hang a plate on a wall without using a plate hanger, then stay tuned. So welcome back friends. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. This video is by request. After I shared my video of decorating the top of our vintage cabinet in our family room, above that cabinet is a plate gallery wall. And I've received a couple of comments on the video. And then I also have received several messages on Instagram and on Facebook inquiring how I hung the plates. So today I'm going to share with you this really simple technique on how you can hang plates without using a plate hanger. So I love to be able to hang plates without a plate hanger because I think it gives it a more seamless look and I think that it just looks cleaner. And so I've tried a couple of different things over the years and they didn't work. So back in 2013, I came up with this idea and I thought I would give it a try and see if it worked and see if it would hold up. And lo and behold, uh, that plate display has been there since 2013 and it has held up very, very well. So here is the secret. Here is, and, and one lady inquired about how you could hang platters specifically. Um, and so this is a small platter and in our kitchen, I also have these hung on one of our walls. There's a set of three different platters. And then on the wall in our family room, there's a few plates and a platter and, and a variety of different sizes. So here's the secret. I went to the hardware store and I picked up one of these things that's called a D ring. It's a little hook like this, and it has two little holes to where you could screw this into wood or you could screw it into a wall. These are called D-rings, and I actually got these at the hardware store. They were very, very, very inexpensive. And I picked up some of this Gorilla Glue. It's a white Gorilla Glue pin. And here's what it looks like. And I actually like this a lot better than I do E6000. It dries really fast and it dries completely clear. As you can see on the back side here, you don't see any, you don't see any, anything spewing out the sides, nothing. Very clean, very clear glue. So all I did is I found my center point on the platter and I, attached the, I put some of the glue on the back of the D-ring down here on this bottom section. I glued around there and then I stuck it on the plate and I held it down for a little bit until it was secure. And then I seriously only let it dry about 20 minutes and I hung it on the wall. And these have been hanging there ever since. Another thing that you I wanna note is the door that's next to that cabinet goes out to our garage. So we open and close that door all the time. And sometimes it gets closed hard. And the, these plates have been hanging there and they've never one single time budged. So if you're interested, go to your hardware store, pick up some of these D-rings, um, get some of the uh, Gorilla, Gorilla Glue Pin. This is the white. Um, because this adheres to glass and plastic. And that was something that was really important to me was to find something that would adhere very well to glass. Not everything does. And uh, not everything adheres very well to like ceramic or porcelain. Um, oftentimes it will stick and it'll slide around and then it will just detach itself as soon as you even try to hang this on the hook, this will slide right off or it will become crusty and it will harden and it will just pop right away from the plate. So 
that's how I did this, you guys. Really simple, nothing to it. Those are the products that I used. And like I said, they've been hanging there for years. I get a lot of compliments on them whenever people come over um, because it's unique. And, you know, I love these platters. I actually got every single one of them at a thrift store. Uh, the plates and the platters, I look for those whenever I was out thrifting and that's how I came up with this little small collection. I hope you have found this video useful for those of you who have asked. Um, I will try to look in the comments of the Easter spring video that I did of our vintage cabinet and include a link to this video to answer your questions. Um, you can just kind of watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here as part of the At Home with Zane family. Check out my video description for links to all my social media sites, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my Facebook. It's all on there. It's a one-stop shop. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll look for you the next time.